Hi, my name is Chris Little, and I am the host of The Lifestyle Chase. In 2018, I started this show to have meaningful conversations. I've interviewed over a hundred different people, both in and out of the fitness industry. This podcast is something I'm incredibly proud of. Welcome to season four. Thanks for joining me. So from following along closely on social media and kind of seeing like how you, how things transform for you, um, I want to unpack three pivotal moments in your career and with regards to or pivotal relationships, I should say, like people that you've met where it's completely changed how you've seen things, changed how you've done things or brought you opportunities that you'll never forget. Oof, man, this is so tough. I feel like there's so many people that, um, I'm very fortunate where, you know, being in New York city, you just meet a lot of different people. Um, I've got to give a shout out to my first, uh, boss coming out of school, Ryan Chow. Um, he kind of took me under my wing and I definitely would not be where I'm at without his guidance and his, um, tolerance to kind of mentoring someone that's fresh out of school. Right. Um, he trusted me to be a part of his team and I was a part of his team for two years and I definitely upgraded my skill set being a part of his team. And I, without a doubt, I wouldn't be where I'm at today without having met him because he's kind of shown me like what's possible as an entrepreneur, what's possible as a physical therapist. So Ryan, if you're listening to this, man, really, really appreciate you. Um, number two would be, I've never met this person. I've never met him in person, but Dave O'Sullivan is one of my mentors. Um, Dave O'Sullivan Physio, he runs a mentorship called uh, the Go To Physio. And Dave has done a great job of like taking every kind of continuing education course there probably is because he's taken all of them and distilling it into like a framework that's very digestible. And he's giving me the confidence as a clinician to speak with more conviction. So Dave has, I can't vouch for the mentorship enough. I think it's a phenomenal uh, mentorship and it's done really well for me personally, as well from a business perspective, obviously. Uh, it definitely gave me the confidence to start out on my own. Number three is going to be Devin Levesque. He's a client of mine, also a friend. And this guy is someone that's bear crawled a marathon. So 26, whatever miles on a bear crawl. He's right now attempting to climb the highest peak of every continent. And while doing so, he's doing everything. <laughs> like he's such a freaking nice guy. He's always willing to lend a hand. Um, you know, he's got his hands in a lot of different like health and fitness industry brands and stuff like that. But I think the one thing I really like about Devin is like, he's so down to earth and really nice to people. And his vision and his mission in life is just like that. Like we have conversations he's like, I just want to make sure like, you know, when it's all said and done, like people look back at, you know, my life and it's like, yeah, he always lended a hand to me. He always uh, was willing to help out. And I think it's truly inspirational to see someone that doesn't forget where their roots are when they've experienced a ton of success. So Devin, appreciate your, I don't know, your thought process. He just thinks differently. If you ever follow Devin, you can't predict his next move. And I love that. Like, I love that he's always going against the grain. Well, I mean, it's really cool that you gave him a shout out because he's actually somebody that I follow now because I follow you. Um, it stood out just like it seemed like there was when you write your posts and if you say somebody inspired you, it inspires me to see what that's all about because I see your path and everything happening there. And the cool thing is like, I might be mistaken on this, but I'm fairly certain that, uh, Devin recently did some work with, uh, someone who comes from Edmonton, Kelty O'Connor. Um, she is, uh, she's actually been on the show. If somebody goes back through the lifestyle chase past episodes, uh, she is someone who is a really good role model through, um, YouTube and 
I think she, she's got a lot of projects on the go. So if anybody doesn't know about her, I highly suggest you look up her stuff because recently she's spoke on, spoken on things like mental health, um, boob jobs, all kinds of stuff that like nobody talks about. Like it's, I think it's uh, admirable. I think these are really tough conversations and to see somebody that comes from Edmonton makes me like really proud of people that have been on the lifestyle chase and what they are doing now. And just the fact that uh, they're connecting with people, like just how small the world can be if you are open to meeting new people. Like you spoke about how easy it is to meet people in New York and I'm here in my living room. I've met so many people over the last like two, three years, just like not even leaving my house because I've been open to like um, what can come from being authentic and really working hard to foster like meaningful connections and um, kind of like put yourself out there similar to how you talked about with like starting your business and like the nerves and like starting your content creation, just like the hesitance a person may have in doing that because maybe nobody else has done anything quite like that. Um, hopefully people can kind of hear that hammer home and that they realize like they're going to go further by being themselves and playing the long game than they are by trying to be someone that they're not and uh, like take shortcuts that really are not advantageous. But uh, to kind of keep us on track with our little segments of the show, we're going to um, transition into the next topic here.